this is Carrie Dunn in Texas, and this message is to my fellow Americans that are on the left. And I would just like to know how you can justify that Kamala is now saying that yes, prices are too high. And on the first day that she's in office, she's going to address how high prices are. Why hasn't she done anything for three and a half years? Why does she continually say that these are not her problems when they are? Because obviously our president currently sitting in the White House hasn't been running the House. She has said that every single day she has been with the president and that he is on it, he's sharp as he's ever been. So that leads all of us to assume that because we now know that that's not been the case, that he is not well from his own words, it's pretty obvious that she's been running the ship. That's what a vice president is supposed to do, correct? So if she has been actually running the ship, how can she possibly say that the current situation in our land where our inflation is the highest since the Great Depression is not her problem? Whose problem is it then? It's certainly not the pres former president. He's been gone for three and a half years. And they inherited the best economy of any, in any incoming president. And inflation, you say, is going down, but it's nowhere near where it was. The economy is nowhere near close to as good it was as when they took office three and a half years ago. So how do you justify all of these differences? How, in your mind, is that okay? How do you allow her to have a pass? Is it simply because you hate Donald Trump so much? That's juvenistic. That, that's like being back in high school, for goodness sakes. Then we talk about the border. And she says, oh yes, there's a big border problem. Well, if you go back and you look at the videos, it specifically says that Kamala, sorry about that, is the person in charge and she was getting to the bottom of what the root problem was. Obviously, she didn't do that because we have 13 million illegal immigrants in this land and they are assaulting, raping, and murdering U.S. citizens. So how can you give her a pass on that? I don't understand how you can flip-flop. How is it okay? How is there no accountability? But yet Donald, Donald Trump can't sneeze or take, go to the toilet without somebody criticizing the man. Are we in a popularity contest or are we in a political contest? Are we trying to elect skill or are we trying to elect who can giggle and laugh and smile and be the most popular? I don't understand how you can justify all of this. How can you continually give her a pass? Because I know not all of you are in the top 3% of the nation, so I know you've all got to be feeling it in your pocketbooks. How do you, can, how do you allow a pass? Why is it okay? And most of all, how do you not hold her and all of those around her and around Joe Biden, how do you give them a pass for not saying this man has not been well? They collectively have put this nation at risk, including you. How do you allow that to have a pass? Well, there's no explanation from anybody. So I respect the fact that you have a differing opinion. I wish that you would respect the fact that I have a differing opinion and have a logical, rational, calm, respectful conversation. But nobody that I'm hearing from the left is even willing to do that. Why aren't we 
discussing policy? Why aren't we discussing track records? Why aren't we discussing what's been going on for four years and why we are in the situation we are in? Why is nobody asking why 13 men and women died in the withdrawal from Afghanistan and this vice president and president hasn't even called those family members? What's the explanation for that? I'm sure they would love to know. How do you justify all of this and continually just turn the other cheek and continually say that this man is going to destroy our land? You even go as far as to call him Hitler, which is an absolute insult to all of those that died in that horrific genocide. I just don't understand how you can turn the other cheek continually, allow no accountability, allow no questioning, and allow all of them to take the votes of all of the Democratic Party who voted in the primaries, which now means nothing. How is that okay? How do you allow it? There is just no, uh, no, no, no comprehension and understanding how you can continually allow thing after thing, failure after failure, to be just swept under the rug with no accountability. She just is not qualified. And this circus of a new news media is doing everything they can to make sure that they sell you a bill of goods. I would pray that all of you who are in the Democratic Party read, investigate, look at records and find out exactly what is the truth because it is not what you're being told. It is not what you're being told. And are all of you willing to be in a socialized society? I find that hard to believe. If that was the case, you wouldn't live in this country. You live in this country because you want the freedoms and liberties that you have here. This ticket compromises all of those things that you enjoy. And you're going to allow it because of a personality? Pretty sad reason to not elect somebody that had the most prosperous economy since the Great Depression. Amazing how far we have fallen in three and a half years under the leadership, obviously, of Vice President Harris. Sometimes the truth really does hurt, doesn't it?